Coming up on Wife Swap. Two women, worlds apart. A lenient mum of unruly quadruplets. If I just did what I asked them to do when I asked them to do it, life would be so simple. Bailey, <laughs> Bailey, Bailey. My mum's a bitch, my brother's an idiot, and bitches. And a no nonsense mum of two highly disciplined kids. If I ask my child to do something, whether it's on the chore list or not, it's done. But when they swap lives, their world is turned completely upside down. Straight up dog. Go sit in the corner. No, no, go sit in the corner. Take your punishment, Cooper. What I want is this stuff now to go off. No, we don't really care. I've never been spoken to like this by a child. Until the new mum calls all the shots. If you don't do your chores, you talk back, you will lose tech time. What the meet for Judgment Day. I did have an incident with Ethan, so I ended up taking his iPad off him. Ethan just got up and walked out. Who will be? This tech thing is really important to them. The better parent. Couldn't get eye contact. They were just like Fortnite, Fortnite. It's how they socialise with their friends. If they're allowed, I guess. This is Wife Swap. Meet the reckless, unruly, and completely out of control Andrew family. Overwhelmed mum Elise, Mitchell. pushover dad Todd, and their hot tempered quadruplets Bailey, Ethan, Nate, and Mitchell. Lucky us. <laughs> Who's got something nice to say to each other? <laughs> Life with four boys is crazy. So, <gasps> and there goes the dog. Nate, no, don't even think about it. Remember, Nate, we talk, we, we talk about making good choices. Is that a good choice? No, no, stop. Think. That's the shit. Nate, put it down now. When they're good, they're great. But when they're bad, they're evil. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. There you go. Right in the nuts. Go to your room. If I just did what I asked them to do when I asked them to do it, life would be so simple. I didn't know I was a mean to it. Hang on, but hang on. When I say... Sometimes I just want to stop the merry-go-round and hop off. Go. Move. Go. If I get through each day and they're all still alive, it's a good day. It's a good day. My mum's a bitch, my brother's an idiot, and bitches. Okay. Come back. Come back. You missed all of this. If you're pandering to kids, you're just creating little monsters. Stable. Mm -hmm. Okay, list. Kids thrive on discipline and structure. I'm seeing gaps. Did that Kay. stuff get done? Yes, it did. Oh, let's tick it off. Let's catch it up. Meet the rigid and highly disciplined Lister family. No nonsense mum, Cassie. Militant dad, Michael. Go sit in the corner. Go, Cooper. And their two constantly controlled children, Sable and Cooper. The most important rules in this house are listening and doing what you're told. Sit, six minutes. If my kids are rude and talk back, they have time out while they're thinking about what they've done. Cooper, look at me, stop wriggling. Do you think your behavior's been good today? Um, a tiny bit bad. 
being sassy, continuing to run your mouth after you've been told to do something, being argumentative. What are we going to do so this doesn't happen again? There's always going to be consequences. I don't want to hear you talk until the end of your meal. Grab the iPads, put your timers on. Our kids start the day off with 30 minutes tech time. If they talk back or do anything wrong, they lose it in five minute increments. Coupe, you've lost time today for bad behaviour, haven't you? Too much tech turns kids into little zombies. Our biggest enemy in the house would be gaming. Yeah. Fortnite, if I never heard that word again, I would be so happy. Ah! What the fuck, Nate? It's an addiction. I'm telling. It's time to get off. What? We bend the rules all the time. Get off Fortnite, boys. Yeah. No. Ethan. I'm not getting off. Ethan. I'm not getting off. Sometimes we don't follow through because it's easier. Do I want to win the war or do I want to win the battle? One second. OK. She wins neither. <laughs> she dies in both. <laughs> the social experiment has begun and the wives prepare to swap lives and families. So you're looking forward to your little adventure? No, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> I'm, I have anxiety. I think I've changed my mind. What about? About going. No, you're going. <laughs> OK. Behave yourselves, huh? And be nice to the new mum. Remember, she's out of her comfort zone too. Plonking myself into someone else's home, that's really going to be a challenge for me, and hopefully it works out well. <laughs> OK. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye, boys. Don't forget. Bye, Marmalade. Oh, OK. Bye, Marmalade. Be good, boys. See you, Mum. Bye, Mummy. Bye, boys. The wives travel to opposite ends of the country as they get ready to move into each other's home. I'm just worried that they're going to have, like, lots of really loud kids. I would hope I'm not pushed to my limits. I hope that the boys are nice to the new wife. They don't yell at her or anything. They can be a little rude at times. Before they meet their new families, Lenny and Mama Lise. Oh my God, how many bins do they have? Oh my God. And strict mum Cassie get to look around and judge each other's home. It's normal. Here we go. I kind of feel like I won the lottery here. It's not a farm. OK. Straight up dog. OK, this is interesting. Interesting. Obviously, we're busy this morning. Oh, hang on, what's this? Rules? Listen to what you're being told, follow instructions, no screaming or acting like a baby. OK, that's freaking me right out, my... <laughs> oh, having heart palpitations. This is not cool. No beds being made. Stuff dumped on the floor. What's this wall? Projects, food of the week, weekly goals and lists. There's no pictures of the kids, of them. Like, where's their wedding photos? Maybe they're not married, Elise. OK, don't be judgmental. So this is the who's who of the family, and we are all boys. Are they all the same age? I know what my son is like, and there's one of him. So I'm now picturing that times four. <laughs> it's not really much decorations. There's no heart here. It's very, dare I say, bland. Oh, wow, OK. This is a lot of technology in one room. That's not going to sit well with me. Each wife has written a household manual which describes their rules on how to run their home. And for the next week, they'll have no choice but to obey. When Todd and I got married, we wanted to have one child. Instead, we were blessed with quadruplets. Our house is noisy, busy and chaotic. 
OK, so if they're admitting that it's chaotic, then it must be like two times of what they actually think it is. I am a firm believer in discipline. If the kids misbehave, they'll be sent for a timeout or a tiny naughty chair. The boys are in for such a shock. We do have rules, but I can be swayed and we don't always follow through. The way I'm reading this, the kids are running this house. We read together about finance and health. How boring. I hate housework. Sometimes I avoid the house because I don't want to clean it. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. But to avoid your own house because it's not clean, like, there are five other members that could contribute. The children are allowed screen time for 30 minutes each day. That's, um, wow. That's harsh. I've got visions of a prison guard with the gate shutting behind you. During the week, they can have up to 90 minutes tech time a day. On weekends, it can be up to five hours a day. Five hours. Like, that's like half your awake day. I wouldn't raise my children that way. I'm going to struggle. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to struggle. Yeah, I'm going to struggle. This is, um... Already disturbed by what lies ahead... Come on. ..the wives will now meet their new husband and children. Hi. 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 Hello. So who do we have here? I'm Ethan. Mitchell. I'm Nate. I'm Bailey. Must Bailey. be Bailey. Must be Todd. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Hello. Hi. I'm Sable. What's your name? Elise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Cooper. Hi, Cooper. How are you, buddy? Say Good. hello. Hi. I'm Michael. Hi, Elise. Nice to meet you. How are you? Uh, I'm a little teary. <laughs> teary? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, we're not that scary, are <laughs> No, <up. laughs> no. You'll get used to it. Mm. So how old are your kids? They're nine. How many do you have? I have four. Four yeah. kids? Yeah. Quadruplets. Quadruplets. Yeah. Wow. Are they mad? Yeah. They're crazy. Alrighty, this is going to be a challenge. You've got a thousand questions. Yeah, right. well, far away. Don't take it the wrong way. Right. 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 I just want to know, are you lesbian? They can talk back really badly, one of my sons in particular. The funny thing is, the more you discipline your kids, the more they enjoy it and like it. Really? You really think that? Yeah. I think they're extremists. I can see that we're going to have a couple of clashes. So what normally happens on a normal day after school? I like to play Fortnite. 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 Oh. Fortnite. I just keep hearing Fortnite, Fortnite, yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> see, my kids at home, they only get 30 minutes tech time, even on the weekends. I think this week might be a bit boring and terrible. And yeah. then can we go do what we want? Well, I don't know. We've got to do what we normally do. So let's do what we want. OK. okay. Good night. And just like that, the tech-obsessed quads ditch new mum Cassie and their pushover dad <sighs> for a gaming session. No flying, no flying. I honestly don't even know what to do <laughs> for dinner. Sure. Hey, kids. Hello. OK, you guys, go, you guys ready? Hey, okay, boys. Yeah? Can someone come help me work out what we're supposed to be eating for dinner? No. We don't really care. And you idiot. What? Ethan. What? Why me? I don't know what happened. Everybody's staring at a screen. There's... There's no attention. Hello. Four little zombies, really. This is working out well. These kids need to earn that tech time, and that tech time certainly needs to be cut down dramatically. All righty. Oh, this is useless, isn't it? Yep, I don't really care. Hey, hey boys. So you guys have been on this for hey. a little while. At the tech-obsessed Andrew home... Wow. ..highly disciplined mum Cassie... Do you guys always play sort of 
This long without a break? Yeah. Has so swapped good. lives with highly lenient mum, Elise. Do you play board games all the time? Oh, every week, yeah. Yeah. And Cassie is attempting to feed dinner to quadruplets oh. who refuse to stop video gaming. I feel like I've asked nicely a couple of times now for this stuff to go off. And so what I want is this stuff now to go off. So let's get them off. Can I'm you like turn it off? Nice. What about you two? Come on. Uh, I'll do it when I get yeah. back. Nice. No. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Can you turn it off yourself or I'm taking it? Uh, wait, can I turn it on? No, no, no. That's the shit. Ethan! It's pretty confronting that your kids are misbehaving and being rude to people who we've only just met. Ethan! Ethan! Where'd he go? Ethan, if you don't bring your ah. iPad now, you're not getting it all tomorrow. What? Yeah. <laughs> if, if you were smart, you'd hand it over and you'd go do... Charging it! Five... Four, three. It clearly comes down to lack of discipline and the lack of following through on consequences because they're not used to it. I don't have it. No, you don't. And you don't have it tomorrow either because you didn't follow instructions. So, shame for you. And now I have an iPad to play tomorrow because you don't. I'm annoyed with Cassie. She's like being me. Why are we coming downstairs? Because I can. Oh, sassy. Pretty sure you're going to lose the iPad for another day if we keep having time. I think Elise might be in for a bit of a shock in my house, realising that the kids do as they're told and that there's consequences, and doing that actually works. True to form, the list of kids are on best behaviour. <laughs> oh, what have we got? What have we got? But according to the household manual, they're only allowed 30 minutes of screen time per day. And militant dad Michael has them under strict surveillance. Hey, kiddies, have we put our timers on? Yeah. Yes, for the correct time, Coop? Yeah. Yeah? Holy moly. It's so constricted. Is it 15 minutes? There won't be 15 minutes left, because you've already put it on. But yes, you're correct, Coop. What well, does it matter if they go a couple of minutes over? But anyhow, not my rule. Then a few hours later... Come on, Coop. Your timer is set. Militant Michael takes set. the timer rule one step further. Timer. Here's the timer for eating, because otherwise he takes too long. There you go. He's being strictly monitored to finish dinner in exactly 20 minutes, or it's time out in the naughty corner. Coop, why aren't you using a fork? Oi, Cooper. Cooper, yeah. you're being silly. <laughs> Cooper, this is the last time I'm going to tell you, right? Start eating properly. Makes me sad a little bit. He's only six, six years. Look at your hands. Look at everybody else's hands. You know the rules? You're not gonna make it, mate. Coop. Okay, go sit in the corner. No, no, go sit in the corner. Does that sit well with you? Yeah, yeah. Really? Take your punishment, Cooper. Wow, that's harsh. Put your hands down by your side. Cooper, listen to me. What's one of our rules? Doing as you ask and <laughs> get what you want. Have you done what you were asked? Mm. No. So why should I give you what you want? I've never seen anything like this. The militant style of discipline for me is not is not great. So what are you going to do about it? And be a good listener. I wouldn't change the way we do things. Go. People aren't allowed to step out of line.
It's day two of the swap, and no-nonsense mum Cassie is bracing herself for the daily breakfast routine. Oh, good morning, hey, hey, hey. With reckless quads. Hey, no, no. <gasps> hey, separate, please. Separate. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? I don't want to kick you in the balls. What are you saying? Hey, stop, boys. Stop. Down. I'm finding it hard already to bite my tongue, like sitting there and watching some of the things happening. And what are you wanting for breakfast? Uh, scrambled eggs. Pancakes? So, Nutella on toast? Cassie must obey the household rules. So she's left with no choice but to bow down to whatever the boys desire. I'm not a fan of making multiple breakfasts. My kids get one meal, like you get what you get and you don't get upset. Am I allowed to make a milkshake? A milkshake? Yeah. For breakfast? Yeah. Well, I guess if that's what you normally have, then we have to stick with that. There is very much a vibe of you give them what they want and then they'll be quiet for a few minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. I guess a one little spoon. And you're allowed that? For breakfast? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, we're not done yet. We got topping. OK. I'm not disciplining the boys now and not paying attention to their health. That's not doing them any favours. When they're teenagers, that is just going to be out of control. No. Like, legit, you can have dirty prop yeah, crackers. sometimes. Wow. OK. Guess we're on old rules. So, you can put some protein in? Just a scoop? Um, two. Breakfast at the Lister House is a different story as lenient Mum Elise follows her orders to make a healthy protein shake for the entire family. The protein shakes, that was absolutely the most grossest thing. Smell, taste, just yuck, yuck. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It's all about starting that, you know, fruit and vegetables first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So each meal we try to get as much as we can. Why am I feeding the kids pond water? Why aren't we just having a nice, cooked, balanced breakfast? Concentrate on what you're doing. Come on. Drink up. Sable, I've never seen a kid drink anything so quickly in my life. I can't believe you just virtually drank that in all one go. She just does it because she just wants to get it done. She doesn't even like them. Sometimes it doesn't have the best taste, but I just like right. it. Are they good for kids? Should kids be drinking protein shakes, I guess, is a question I want to go find the answer to. Can I ask, did you ask the kids if they wanted to do that? Or as the parents, you've just sort of said, this is what we're going to do. Sable's doing a lot of exercise, so I'm trying to give her more calories. Wouldn't you be better off to eat fresh protein? Would you like to eat half a cow? like per day type thing? No. Yeah, exactly. They're not young adults. These are young children. Yeah, OK, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. When I change these rules, he may really not like them. And that makes me a little bit nervous. It's the last day working under old household rules. But before laying down her own rules, okay. strict mum Cassie has to clean up after unruly quad boys. Go! Without their help. That is disgusting. <laughs> like, that is gross. Big dirty poo, not flushed down. I know she doesn't like to clean, but it's borderline unhygienic. These kids lack independence. They're not doing anything for themselves. They're just sitting around expecting to be waited on hand and foot. Ah! That doesn't happen in my home. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. They walk all over at least. But at the same time, she's allowing it, isn't she? Oh, ah! oh. Do it somewhere else. At 
the Lister House, responsibility is the norm, as Sable obediently follows her daily cleaning routine. You're ticking your list off, Sable? Yeah. You go do the dishwasher. Not sure what I should be doing. Is Sable the adult here, or is Cassie the adult? I don't enjoy cleaning at all. I'd prefer to have a messy house, but Mum doesn't like messy houses. What's next on our list? What will we do oh, after this? Oh, my coming down. OK, so that's a good job of making your bed. Once the kids complete a job, they tick it off the chore list or face the consequences. OK, let's go. The kids just seem too grown up. I just want to give them back their childhood. And next on the militant list... All right, shall we go? ..is a weekly 3K run. Go. OK. Wait for me! If I asked my kids, would you like to run around the park with me, they'd go... What? I'm so unfit. Oh, my God. Are you dying? Yes. Could I have an asthma attack? I'm curious to know, do Michael and Cassie actually ask her whether or not doing those activities is something that she wants to do? Michael's been making me get into running. So Mondays, I have 45 minutes of swimming. Tuesdays, for our sport day at school. Wednesdays, we'll do our push-ups, sit-ups and planks. Thursdays, the same. Saturday, we have the 5K run at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes, she's running with her mum, but where does she do the things with friends? I've tried that and I've got a lot of grief about it. It's nothing but fun at the out of control Andrew House. The quads are hosting a very wild pool party, ignoring any form of parental supervision. This is a fucking madhouse at this point. <laughs> Mental. Nate. Nate. Oh. Nate. 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 Put it down. Now. Ethan. Nate. Ethan. Nate. Right. Hey, put it. Nate, no more hitting. Nate. Nate. They don't hear. They might hear your voice. They won't hear my voice. It's easy to give in to your kids, but at the same time, it's not always what's best for them. <laughs> and the night has just begun. Yeah. I did a little bit of research on how much we should be striving for every day of, of fresh fruit and vegetables. There's apples. So... Oh, my God. What we need to do is have two serves of fruit and five serves of... Vegetables. Like, why do we have to have so many lessons? Sable. Mm hmm How many serves of vegetables do I have? Mum, well, I'm just... OK. Um, and I'm thinking... Mm. Oh! It's... <laughs> OK. I tried to show you the ratio. You know, five, five serves versus two serves. So we need to... After struggling to live by each other's rules, lenient mum Elise and strict mum Cassie are ready to take control and lay down their own rules. Rules are going to be hard. Hello. Hello. But I'm done with chaos. It's time for the adults to take back control of this house. I'm confident in my rules that it's the right thing for the family and the kids, but am I confident that Michael will see it that way? I'm not so sure. OK, Coop, Coop, Coop. Michael, I know that you and Cassie are really goal-driven. It's evident by what you have displayed in your vision wall. But it's not very inviting and it's not very homely. So my first rule is to move them and create a family area with soul. It's not relaxing to look at your future constantly. 
I guess. It's not relaxing. No, I don't think that's relaxing. I look at it every day and know why I'm walking out the door. I just want to firstly thank you for welcoming me into your home. But lack of listening, respect and consistency need to be addressed. This house is treated more like a hotel than it is like a normal family home. So the fact that there's multiple breakfasts being made each morning is ridiculous. So the first rule is there will be one breakfast made and that will be what I decide each morning. That's the shit. Tough crowd. Next, this one's for you, Cooper. Michael, you put heaps of food on his plate. Yeah. No more dinner timer. I just think it's a lot of pressure to put on him. We've only just incorporated the timer to try and help just, him up with the, the, the speed. And I get where you're saying it, just he's only six. Yeah. And speaking of cooking, I don't think kids should be having protein shakes. So tomorrow morning, hot breakfast for the kids. So we can have whatever we want? Whatever you want. They <laughs> want pancakes. Protein shakes are a big part of our life, so it's taking a step in the wrong direction. It's sounding like a holiday. The big thing that I've noticed is how much rubbish food is going into your bodies. We've had prawn crackers, ice creams, and we've had milkshakes. So we're throwing out all of the junk food from today in the bin. I just don't think that it's fair to my mum for buying stuff and then you're just going to throw it away. But I've, I've bought some healthy food to substitute for that, though. And you actually find that it tastes really good. It's only your opinion. That's true. That's my opinion. But until you try it, you won't know. These are stupid. Completely stupid. Educational reading about finance and nutrition might be interesting for adults, but let's just let the kids be kids. So educational readings are going. How is that? Bad. Do you really think Cooper, as a six-year-old, needs to know all that stuff yet? What about his interaction with that did, did not sit well? Like, oh, I'm just trying oh, to... Oh, no, it's not that it didn't so, sit well. Because I see it as he's being part of the family. Yeah, I understand. He's getting a subtle understanding and will pick things up later on in life a lot easier. Yeah, I he agree with that. He sat there and However, ate the vegetables. Michael's reaction a bit defensive, but I'm sticking to my rules and I'm not backing down. So from the moment I got here, the boys have spent countless hours on technology. And that's resulting in behavioural issues and being little zombies. And this brings me to the rule. 30 minutes of tech time per day maximum. Like 30 minutes? That's the shit. There will be consequences for bad behaviour. If you don't do your chores, you talk back or you misbehave, you will lose tech time in five minute increments. Your rules are rubbish. What is it that's affecting you out of those? None of your business. Is it the tech time rule? I said none of your business. You. I've never been spoken to like this by a child. You'll just have to wait and see if we'll play by the rules or not. And you boys have already had your 30 minutes today. That's not fair. I think the boys are still going to try to test the boundaries. I'd like to put 15 more minutes on it, though. Put 15 more minutes on the 30. But I'm pretty firm on what I want with the rules, so I'm going to follow through with what I said. And I think the boys will learn that pretty quickly. And that's not going to happen. Is that it? <laughs> okay. 30 minutes every day make me angry. She's not my mother. Sable, I love that you're responsible beyond your years, but I want to give you back your childhood making her do all those chores. 
The responsibility of cooking, the responsibility of having to make hers and Cooper's lunch every day. So didn't you do that as a kid? I did. Yeah. And I don't want my kids to be doing that. And I just would like to pass that on to Stable. So no more punishment, rewards only. Can you explain that further? Like, so, I'm just, try I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, no, no, I don't understand what you're saying. So I do do this at home with my kids. So do you think that you're an amazing uh, woman and mother? I just need a break. I hate conflict and I wasn't prepared to have an argument with him. <sighs> wasn't I this amazing super mum and all the rest of it? I don't actually like being spoken to like that. You made her cry. Huh? You made her cry. <sighs> I really need to go for a walk. I really need a break. Can you take this off me? Sure. Do you know how to crack the eggs? Perfect. It's the first day of our wives' new rules. And lenient Mama Lise has put a ban on healthy protein shakes in favour of sweet pancakes. Do you want some maple syrup on them? Yeah, on the side. Here? But in a household that's strictly sugar-free... So this is going to be the yummiest happy treat ever. For militant Dad Michael... <clears throat> It's all too much. Oh, I think it's ridiculous. I feel like it's a bit unfair to paint a picture that we only eat protein shakes. Like, I think that's unfair. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I, I feel like, it, you know. I, it doesn't have what, for what? me, I just think a cooked breakfast is better than a protein shake. They're really delicious. We've come off processed sugar and we know exactly what it feels like. It's terrible. Like, you should have seen the breakfast we had on Saturday, you missed out. So, you know, we had a roasted vegetable egg frittata. That was a hot breakfast. That had lots of goodness in it. Did you guys like it? Cooper. I didn't like it. You didn't like it. So you'd just rather eat pancakes 24-7. That was lovely, Elise. Sugar should be classified as a drug. I don't want me or my kids or my family to ever have processed sugar again. Boy, breakfast time. Coming! At the Andrew home, highly disciplined mum Cassie is on a mission to teach the unruly quads that parents are the boss. Starting with breakfast. So, what we have is two boys who did not finish their meals last night, is that correct? So we have two boys who are going to eat their meals from last night first, and if they're still hungry, then they can have muesli. And the other two boys will have muesli straight up. So let's take yours over to the table. Give a good chance to the rules. To do the right thing, we have fun. I feel like the boys didn't believe me when I said that it was coming out for breakfast, but they've seen that now. I don't want to eat a tomato. I don't want to eat chicken. Why didn't you eat it at dinner last night then, Nate? You boys will learn I mean what I say. I think I don't want to eat this. It's not a negotiation. You have two options. It's half of the thing on your plate that you don't like or all. Come on, Nate. Just like me on carpet. Keep chewing, Nate, that's it. They hate me for this, but it's for their own good. Almost done, Nate. Chew it down. That's it, done. Now that they know if they don't eat all the dinner, it's coming out for breakfast, so I think dinner time might be a bit easier today. Back in Brisbane, Elise has taken over the household chores from the Lister kids, allowing them to enjoy some family fun time. I saw Sable hugging Michael and, like, riding him on the back. 
I haven't seen a lot of physical contact with them. So I'm actually really, really happy to see that. <laughs> Later that afternoon, Elise continues to implement her lenient rules by allowing six-year-old Cooper to eat an early dinner without the pressure of a timer. Coop, sit up. Come on. Elise has given you some new rules. <laughs> but with food still on the plate, militant dad Michael is convinced that no timer... Elise! ..is a bad idea. Where are you, Coop? He's under the table. Can I talk to you for a minute? You're going to sit on my lap? Hey, can I ask you a question? Have we had a fun afternoon of swimming in the pool? Yay! Okay. How about three more mouthfuls for me? Okay. Okay? Let me go. That's right. Yeah, good boy. That's two mouthfuls. And then you might cut up an apple later. What do you reckon? Or banana toast. Fruit's OK. What do you think? OK, I just have an apple. OK. Good boy. Love it. OK. Thanks, buddy. Good work. I feel like we just gave in to him not eating his dinner. He said to me, Apple. Actually, double mouthfuls, but she kind of does know. Offering him fruit instead of eating a good, hearty meal, it's a dessert. You know, like it's just putting more sugar into his body at night time, so. I'll get the DVD out. He's six years old. He's a baby. He just needs softly, softly. He doesn't need... Like, I just don't think that that's the way to go. Meanwhile, at the Andrew home... Candies. The clods have already eaten their dinner for breakfast. Lollipops. So no-nonsense mum Cassie moves on to diet rule number two. I want to show you that I mean what I say and I follow through on things. And I really do think it's important that we start eating a bit healthier. So I've got some of the junky foods here which we're going to throw away. <laughs> so we're going to throw out, like, the chips, the chocolate, lollipops. And a little bit later, I'll show you some of the cool stuff that I bought. Candy and Nutella. But you're not putting it in the bin. Yes. But we're going to have better alternatives. Fuck this. She doesn't do any respect to our house. I don't see him. Ethan, don't leave. Holy fuck. The reaction from the kids was probably, like, 20 times more than I anticipated it would be. Ethan! Hey. Can I run? Hey. Can you come to the kitchen, please? It's the final day following our wives' new rules. Boys. I like Mitchell. Let go. <laughs> you are not. You are getting over here now because I asked you to. Strict mum Cassie is still attempting to rein in the unruly quads. Mitchell! This time with a schedule of chores. So what I've got here oh, is yeah. I've done up a chore board. So let's get into maybe some folding some laundry. What the fuck? Did you know what that does? That frees up a bit of your mum's time, no. doesn't it? I don't know how to fold the shorts. Ethan, you do. You don't know how to fold what shorts? Let me give you a lesson. Ethan does know. Yeah. Shorts, are we watching? I think you're taking the mickey now. But then folding isn't one of our jobs. But it is now. It's on the wall. But you're not my parent. This is where the disrespect is coming in, isn't it? In my house, if I ask my child to do something, it's done. It's not going to end well for you because I'm not backing down. So 
So, Dad, get in there, fold your stuff. No, I'm not joking. You got two hands, you can go fold your stuff. I wore them. And I washed them, so if I dig in now and prove to these boys that there's consequences for their behaviour, and when Elise comes home, if she follows through, life is gonna be so much better here. Are you gonna get on board or are you losing your tech time for tomorrow? Fine. There is nothing to fold. Here you go, I found some things for you. That's neat. Yeah, I think her rules are really fair. It's just really annoying. Do you know what? You're trying, so I appreciate that you're trying. Good job. Well done. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> Back in Queensland, lenient Mum Elise has just one rule left to action, to dismantle the list of motivation wall. Stable. And she can't wait. Coopy, can you do one thing for me before you eat that? See that sign that says rules? Can you put it in the bin for me? Because we don't need it anymore. I don't like it. Let's do it. Let's rip it off the wall and put it in the bin. Go, go, go. Yes! <laughs> quick, quick! Yeah. In, in, in. Yay! High five me. I love it. One list down, just a wall full to go. So you can still keep them, but let's just keep them in your rooms, OK? Yeah. So we just don't need to have them where we can all see it. Well, Lisa's very fun and loving, and she just spices things up. She does it her own way. You can rub them all off. So that's what I really like about her. So clean. I know. Are you excited? Yes. I had the best day. We've put some colour into the lounge area. We've moved the lounge room around so we've got a flow going. It's been awesome. Back in Sydney. Come on, boys. I want you outside. Everybody find where your name is written and stand in front of that, please. Cassie is also on her final mission, to show the tech-obsessed quads that there's more to life than just gaming. So what I want to do, and it's something that's really important to me and something that I get my kids to do as well, is setting individual goals for each of you. This is your chance to kind of pick something that's really important to you that you can work towards. So I'm going to start over here with Ethan. Give my dad a foot massage every night. I mean, that's really sweet, but I feel like maybe that's something more for your dad than for you. What is it that you're actually interested in that you haven't mm -hmm. done before? Yeah, I've done everything I wanted to do. So you've done everything. You've lived a full life. You're happy. No. You've ticked everything off the bucket list. No. No? I really want to hit a six, so I have no hitting a six. That's a great start. Are you happy with that goal? Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay, Bailey. I wanted mine to be about cricket as well. That can be fine. Because I suck at batting, but I'm great at bowling and fielding. So yours would be around batting? Is that what we're working on? Yeah, to get better and try and hit and try and get more runs in cricket. Perfect. OK, Nate. Mm, I don't really score that much goals in soccer, so I, so I want to score more goals in soccer. Yeah? OK, great. Let's get it down. OK, Mitchell. Okay, have you put some thought into what your goal would look like? I want to learn how to tie my shoes. Perfect. Yeah. And with no time like the present, Cassie helps him to achieve it. So how much do you know when it comes to tying um, your shoes? I only know how to do this. So it's just that bit. We're going to criss, cross, and then we're going to make some bows. Do you want to have a try on that one? It's a bit tricky because it's hard to get your hands all together. Mm, like this. Crisscross. And then we're going to pull them tight. Yep. And make a bow. So, like, pinch it there so he's got a bit of a tail. Yep, you're, you're fine. So just, like, loosen it up to there. So you've got two bows. And then grab both bows and pull. Both bows. Make sure you grab that one. That's it. Mitchell. Yeah. You have nailed it. We now need to put some thought into another goal for you, because now you know how to tie your shoes. Yeah. I can't wait to see my mum, because I really want to tell her that I can tie my shoelaces and do a double knot. Yeah, that's a big moment, Mitch. 
Very proud of you. <laughs> These boys, they are true sweethearts. They are really good kids, and I'm actually going to miss them. After swapping lives with a complete stranger, the social experiment is now over. And our wives prepare to reunite with their loved ones. This week's been a mixed bag for me. These boys have gone pretty much from little disaster zombies to like little delights, like little quirky delights. I've enjoyed this experiment. It's made me appreciate my life whilst I think that structure and rules are important for our family. I'm on the right track with the amount of fun that we do let the boys have. I'm gonna miss you, boys. Thanks, Todd. Right. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you too. Bye, Cassie. Bye, Mitchell. Oh, what's that? Do you want me to read it in the car? Read it in the car? Yes. Bye, beautiful. You're so special. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Adios, Adios, amigos. Adios, Keep Adios. all of the rules, all of it. Hey, I miss you, boys. See, Cassie. Thanks for looking after me and being a good friend, Nate. That is so sweet. Thank you for being nice and trying to help us. Bye, Bailey. Thank you so much for teaching me to tie my shoes, and I really like the new rules, Mitchell. How sweet is that? That is adorable. Before returning home, the couples will meet halfway to discuss their experiences. But first, they'll reunite with each other. Oh. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh, good. I miss you so much. I miss you. Yeah? Mm. How's the weather? Shitty. I'm up for a soaking wet. <laughs> How are the boys? They're being pretty good. Are they? Yeah. Come on then. Our couples can now come face to face for the first time. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Cassie. Good. Elise. Todd. Hey, mate. Michael, mate. Hey, mate. How are you? Nice to meet you. Great. Very good. Next off. So when I read the manual, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit scared. You know, realising that there were four <laughs> boys and reading your own words about chaotic and that sometimes you avoid your own home. I was already in my head realising the things that I wanted to change before I'd even met the family. When I first got to your house, Cathy, I thought that I was coming into, like, a dictatorship. There was, like, lists and goals and challenges and food of the week. It was like, wow, this is really strict. Mm -hmm. And then there was things like that timer. I didn't love that. I didn't love seeing Cooper sit on the floor. I'm just not big on the whole naughty chair or the naughty corner. I just felt it was a little degrading to him. Yeah. And I your felt, kids, I felt bad. Don't your kids sit on the floor? No. Like, they've never sat on the floor in the kids' play area? Yeah, or... but not with a sign hanging over his head saying, don't act like a baby. Take your punishment, Cooper. So, my first rule, we removed all your list and then threw it in the bin. The dinner timer, that also went, Cooper doesn't need that timer to eat his dinner. How did he go, though? He only ate three mouthfuls of food. Of the whole. To me, I was OK with that, but I know Michael wasn't happy about that. There wasn't enough food. Yeah, OK. I also told him if he was hungry, he could have a piece of fruit afterwards, so apparently that's not the go either, so... And the house being sugar-free, I found that challenging, to say the yeah. least. And then you had protein shakes for breakfast, and I was like, I didn't even know kids should have protein shakes for mm. breakfast. So another rule, hot breakfast for the kids, no more protein shake. But protein's in everything we eat. But did you go to a doctor and ask the doctor about the protein shake? Yeah, OK, but what's the difference with just eating four steaks rather than one? Like, I, don't... I would probably keep that as a um, sometimes rule, but I'd... I'd... I can't foresee myself seeing that on a, doing that on a daily basis. Yeah, and I understand yeah. that that doesn't necessarily fit your yeah. lifestyle. So. 
I was a bit surprised when it comes to breakfast. Ethan chose to eat ice cream. I was a little mortified by that, to be honest. Yeah, I do allow that. I'd be lying if I said no to that. Yeah. It's not an everyday thing. Oh, was this before thing. school? Yeah. yeah, it's not an everyday thing. And then You'd how fill much... them up with sugar before no. school. Don't like start on the sugar. So first rule was the house is going junk free. And that was to see, I guess, if, if diet would play a part in changing behaviour and stuff as well. I'm a little offended because I thought I was doing an OK job with that. Nate wasn't happy. Don't leave! Ethan just got up and walked out. And then Nate... Out of the house, he left the house. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. He felt like I was disrespecting you because you'd bought stuff and I was throwing it out. Yeah, it makes it my, it's making me feel sick, like I have to be honest. Why is that? Because my son ran away from home. <sighs> it's, it's a big experiment mm. for them, as well, as well as it is for us. Yeah. So um, I think I'm upset that he was upset. After swapping lives, our couples are sharing their experience with the social experiment. I think I'm upset that he was upset. And Elise is struggling with how her quad boys have reacted to disciplined mum Cassie's new rules. I did have an incident with Ethan where he was being difficult, so I ended up taking his iPad off him. Because I would go into the boys on their text couldn't get eye contact, wow. couldn't get any form of discussion. So I think the first day was just like fortnight, fortnight, fortnight. Not out of the room. I just felt like that was taking away my opportunity to get to know them. So the golden rule, I, I cut it to 30 minutes tech time a day. So I said, you're going to get chores. And if you don't do your chores, then you don't get your tech time. So they like genuinely got sad. And I, I don't think I was prepared for that emotion. Yeah, see, I have a problem with that. The fact that the boys got that upset upsets me as their mum. But did you understand the intent I, behind it? I do it? understand the, the intent. They were just like, fortnight, fortnight. This tech thing is really important to them. So I don't, I don't really have an opinion on the game itself. It's how they socialise with their friends. Well, that's what they're yeah. saying to... To us. If they're allowed, I guess. We, we got we got little sayings in our family. Do what you're asked and you get what you want. Compared to our children, I think yeah. your children have a lot more responsibility and jobs. So my next rule was about Sable having less responsibility and more time to be able to be a child. That got a little controversial between Michael and I. He's very passionate. And he was questioning me and I didn't like the line of the questioning. Do you think that you're an amazing mother? It got personal. I started to get frustrated at this point. And it, yeah. was, uh, it upset me, it really upset me. The too. way you deliver stuff. Oh, no, I was just trying to ask for, trying to find the motivation behind it, how she thinks yeah. it will affect our family. I'm really passionate about making sure that the kids have a childhood yeah. and not too much responsibility. Yeah, so yeah. when I yeah. delivered that rule to her, she was like quite, she quite likes that rule. Yeah. I don't really feel like she has a lot of responsibility. No, yeah. yeah, I think that's probably one that I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, it's neither right nor wrong. Yeah, exactly right, just different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this week's taught me a fair bit. I do actually realise sort of how much my family does um, to help and sort of contribute. So I am grateful for my family, yeah. I actually learnt that I have more patience than I actually realised. Putting up with you. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping to take that home with me for the boys. And, and thank you for being so kind to my children. Oh, and your children husband. are amazing. So if you ever want to go away, you can send <laughs> them down to me. Yeah. I'll look after them <laughs> any time. Okay, so I guess that's it. Yeah. Um, Wonderful. Thank you thank for doing you. this with us. Thank you too. Thank you for letting me be part of this. Yeah, day. you too. Bye, Tazzy. Thanks for the lovely work. <laughs> With the emotional meeting over, our wives can finally return home to their children. <laughs> Boys! Mother! Hello! Oh. Hi, Mother. Hello! Hi, Hi boys. The fact that I've discovered that I have more patience, 
I'm going to try and make sure that we have a yelling free home. Oh, hey, okay. how are the rules, boys? You know, like 30 minutes of take time and this house is going to free. I don't like those. I mean, you know how much chips I lost? You won't get your freckles anymore. <laughs> No chores, no tech. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Ethan? Yeah, I can come on. <laughs> and you're not going to give me any cheek? <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> when I say... That's the shit. Goofy, save <laughs> I'm still going to be firm and consistent with my children because I believe that gets the best results. No more dinner timer needs to disappear because that's just silliness. No, you're not on your iPad anymore, Cooper. Mr. iPad time's done today. I went into it with the intent to learn from what happened to be Elise in our home. Hot breakfast for the kids, no more protein shakes. But overall, I do feel like what we are doing is right for our family. Why don't I just get you some prawn crackers to go with it? Uh... <laughs> We're never going to be friends with them. We're feeling the energy it's amplified Oh yeah The beat drops in, we're on in sync Dancing like nobody's watching There's no music breaks We got that pop song It's in our head Melodies will make us move We can't help but trend Hands up in the Our bodies swaying, reaching new heights With every step, we captivate the crowd The cheers and applause, we're so proud We got that pop song, it's in our head Melodies will make us move, we can't help but dread Hands up in the air, we're lost in the Our stage, our kingdom of groove Where dreams ignite And inhibitions we remove We're addicted to the rhythm It's a heartbeat With every move we feel the music complete